Can anyone tell me why the Callaway Park admission price costs $2 more than Canada's fucking Wonderland? For those who don't know the difference, this is Callaway Park. Pretty accurate picture. 30 rides, like 100 acres. This is Canada's Wonderland. It's the country's premier amusement park with more than 200 attractions. The biggest roller coasters in Canada are at this park. Just the fact that it's twice the size and features way bigger rides that probably cost a lot more to operate is really weird to me. That almost seems like they're gonna give me free tickets. When I go to the page now, someone says, LMAO, you really baited him into getting sued like this. Did they remove this comment because it seems really fucking dishonest? Fuck Callaway Park, dude, worst. Bit of background, I guess I basically I made a video that complained about the Callaway Park prices in comparison to Canada's Wonderland. You can find that on my TikTok, I'll link it in the description. And a few like Calgary local pages picked it up and I commented like at Callaway Park, how about those free tickets? And they said, email us at Callaway Park. So I emailed them my phone number and I was like, I'm about to get these free tickets. And they called me and this is what happened. We're, we're giving you the opportunity, Tom. So, you know, I just, A, we will not be giving you gang tickets. So let's be clear about that. Um, but I just want you to understand there are going to be consequences if you, if you continue. So we're giving you the opportunity, Tom. Like... Consequences being what? I mean, well, and what is it that you're referring to? To your TikTok video, to your continuing of your defamation of uh, Calgary going under. <laughs> um, so, so we've got it all documented. We, again, tell them all we're trying to do right now is just common sense and have some adults in the room um, so that you can make a decision to participate. Who am I? Who am I speaking with currently? You're you're talking to Callaway Park. No, I mean like you. The. No, I I won't give you my name. So at this point, you can choose to, um, you know, let us know if you want to proceed or if you, you know, it's up to you, Cal. We're giving you this opportunity. Um. Well, I mean, I'm documenting this just be in case it becomes relevant, but at this point. I have no real uh, intentions to proceed. Like, what do you mean, just post more videos? Uh, no, and just your comments um, about the, the company itself. And, and, uh, yeah, what what comments on. specifically are you referring to? I'm going to be honest, mommies, I thought you were going to give me some free tickets today. Well, your comments are defamatory. So, again, we are just, there are no free tickets down for you. So, if you want to proceed that way, we can. Like, I'm just saying, we'll spend some time and spend some money on this, if you would like us to. I'm giving you the opportunity to choose not to, so we'll leave it up to you. Um, and we just wanted, that's why we wanted to have the conversation. Well... Like I said, I am recording this conversation, um, which I don't have to tell you because we live in Canada, which there's one party consent ruling on phone calls. Um, but I, I'm pretty much well within my right to post even this conversation, and I'm sure that wouldn't result in any type of action from you guys because that would be frivolous. If you are in the media, professionalism is one of the values that, that people snap on. And also being an adult in the room um, is another thing of just, you know, pure adults, especially when you are 24 years of age. Oh, okay, how old are you? Uh, again, uh, Cal, we'll leave it up to you if you 
want to choose to go this route or not, it's up to you. Um, well, in all likelihood, I'll post this conversation. I know we live in a place that uh, pretty much protects against any kind of censorship lawsuits, so that's okay. going to be good on my behalf. Thank you. Have a good day.